How can we tell whether the cosine or sine of an angle is positive or negative? Well, the most important thing first is to draw the unit circle because that's how we define the cosine of every angle. And let's actually draw an angle, call it theta. And that angle and the unit circle form a point. And by definition, the coordinates of that point are cosine theta, sine theta. And knowing the coordinates of that point will allow us to find uh, w what the sine of cosine theta and sine theta are for that point. The reason is cosine theta is the x value of that point. Sine theta is the y value of that point. So by looking to see whether the x value and y values of that point in the coordinate plane are positive or negative, then we can determine whether cosine and sine are positive or negative. So this is the conclusion. Cosine theta is negative when the x value of that point is negative, and it's positive when the x value is positive. Sine theta is negative when the y value of the point formed by the angle is negative. Also, sine theta is positive when the y value is positive. So we're going to illustrate that with a couple of examples. Um, here we have, again, a, a blank unit circle. And we're going to draw the two sections where, um, first of all, this is the first section. This green area is where cosine is positive. In other words, the first and the fourth quadrants. And the reason cosine is positive over there is because the x value is positive in that area. Um, for every point in that green area, you have a positive x value. So every angle will form a point on the unit circle with a positive x value. And similarly, on the other side, you have a negative cosine um, because the x value in those points are negative and cosine is the x value. Similarly, we have a situation uh, with sine. Where is sine positive? Well, sine is positive where the y value is positive, And sine is negative where the y value is negative. So um, basically form any angle and you see which of these two regions it lies in and then think to yourself, is it positive or is it negative? Um, so here we have the entire, um, both of our uh, ways of categorizing things, for both for cosine and sine. So you notice cosine is positive to the right and sine is positive on top. But the reason is that for this is that cosine is the x value of the point on the unit circle and sine is the y value of the point on the unit circle. So as a couple of very quick examples, look to the left one. Um, that purple angle formed will have a positive cosine because it ends in the green area. This yellow one will have a negative cosine because it ends in the red area. And same thing with that blue line over there. So the angles forming those lines um, uh, are sometimes positive, sometimes negative, depending on where the point ends up uh, on the unit circle.